So what you guys just saw was just a little bit of aftermath of the aftermath DLC and um I, hello guys <laughs> I just thought that I would just show you guys a little bit of the maps the beautiful maps in this DLC I I am Peter or the Black Hearted Soul as always and um, I'm really happy with this DLC and I wanted to make this I'm really sorry for being kind of a long intro but it's actually the first DLC that I covered with you guys so it is pretty cool and um, I actually wanted to make something special because I really enjoyed this DLC when I actually tried it out. I've only played it for just a few hours and I already love it. Um, I made those kind of little cinematic stuff from uh, some parts from every map. And um, yeah, I think it turned out okay. Um, don't judge me. I'm not like super pro with cinematic stuff and editing and stuff. So don't kill me, okay? Don't throw rocks in my face. Now... Uh, let's actually talk about the first stuff and now I, I want to talk about the design of the maps the design in these in this DLC is just ama is just amazing epic 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 I, I love all the four maps and I think that the design in them is just amazing just it has such it's such a clever design such an intelligent design and such a beautiful design first the maps are beautiful if you play this with like even medium graphics you're gonna find these maps amazingly beautiful um, first I, 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 I said that they it was a clever and intelligent design simply because you have a great mix of close medium and long-range encounters which makes it, these maps really cool which makes it because it makes them adapt to every class and every class setup that you can use you can just try out everything and just keep to those close or medium or long-range encounters the way that you wanted you just need to control the engagement um, second I want to talk about something that I mean I'm not gonna say it's a disappointment a disappointment I mean I was kinda sad that it wasn't better but let's talk about it um, before the DLC came out uh, everybody was all happy in the pants because uh, they talked about the dynamic reactions because uh, on the maps because of this being a earthquake themed DLC um, we all thought it was gonna be something really epic uh, a lot of people got actually pretty disappointed at, at all this because uh, the reactions the dynamic reactions on the map are just a few earthquakes that are kind of uh, let some rubble crumble down and kill you sometimes uh, which is not bad I'm don't it's not bad at all don't judge me don't don't judge me no don't get me wrong um, it's not bad at all it's a pretty a pretty cool thing but we were expecting a lot more uh, I think that a lot of people were actually expecting something like me which I was expecting like bridges to fall down and just like half the map get fucked up and we could just like I don't know just F the map would be like unplayable or, or it would just change the position of one of the flags or something um, yeah I was actually expecting something like that another cool thing that I actually really enjoyed was the destruction in the maps it was actually pretty cool if you kind of take your time and just start throwing shit like bombs or use those armored ca cars to just blow up all the buildings it just looks pretty awesome to see all the bits and bobs just flying around um, I also really liked the map colors they are really beautiful although in one of those maps they are kind of yellowish like way too yellowish but I kind of understand that they were trying to make some really strong sun lighting uh, but the, the, the colors are really bright and the maps are really cool to look at um, and of course the big star of the picture at least one of the big stars was scavenger the new game mode for this DLC and scavenger is just amazing if you don't know that uh, I'm pretty good much gonna tell you scavenger in a nutshell um, you spawn with just your pistol the you choose the pistol with no equipment just a grenade and um, you, you you choose your own pistol before you spawn of course just like normal game modes and um, you spawn with your pistol with full ammo and full mags and stuff but you need to to catch weapons on the ground so you need to pick up weapons on the ground w that just have like one or two mags depending on the size of the mag too and uh, you just need to survive that way and um, I think that uh, the whole idea of this new game mode just goes so well with the maps and with the full DLC with the full experience because 
the context of all the DLC stuff, of all the the epicenter map and all that stuff, the of all, everything going around the earthquake thing, the earthquake area of the idea just makes this DLC amazing. It just gives it such a cool feel that everything was just so really well thought out and that everything was just really well thought. Uh, it was given it was given a, a lot of thought to everything that got into this DLC to every little bit in this DLC. Uh, I really like the expo. Uh, a lot of people were actually thinking about it, that it was going to be uh, overpowered. I actually don't think that. I actually think that it, it is quite balanced. Um, for example, a lot, of, a lot of people thought that um, C4 uh, bolts were going to pretty much just mow down every fucking vehicle. But no, they do quite a lot of damage to like low armored vehicles. But uh, tanks and stuff, they don't really damage them that much. Um, I'm not sure if it's pretty much like a new tube. Uh, a new tube. I say new tube because I'm just used to saying it. The M320 launcher, the grenade launcher. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same damage, but it is like kind of a low damage. It's not the same as like an RPG or like C4 does, uh, which is actually really cool because it's just a little bit of C4 on the tip of the bolt. It's not like a an actual big C4 charge so it shouldn't do that much damage so it is pretty real realistic and the balanced bolts to shoot out people at distance uh, it's really cool to actually see the, the the speed of the bolt flying in the air it's really realistic and DICE has made us something really amazing with that expo it is something really fun to use and something really cool to actually see in use too um, another really thing a really important thing for you guys that I actually want to talk about a lot of people are actually kind of I'm gonna say mad but it's kind of quote-unquote mad with dice and stuff and with or with EA or whatever because of the last DLC on consoles kind of sucking um, armored kill wasn't very good on consoles because of the number of players and uh, a lot of people were kind of pissed about that and they were kind of complaining because of that and um, guys aftermath is your salvation aftermath is here to make you guys happy again um it, it, it just it, it kind of looks like uh, I'm sorry from dice it just they just made such an amazing DLC that works that I think that will work amazingly good on consoles and PC uh, if you guys even if you are a PC player that got kind of tired of the routine of battlefield of being always the same thing you are gonna find aftermath a new uh, a new light a new fresh it's gonna be like fresh air it, it, it gave a lot of fresh air to this uh, to this um, game and it just made this game a lot more awesome I really love this DLC and I think that it is you guys should totally buy it uh, especially like if you're not a premium player if you're someone who just chooses what whichever or just waits to choose whichever DLCs you want to buy buy aftermath totally one of the best, if not the best, DLCs that DICE has ever brought us to Battlefield 3. Um, another thing that I really want to talk about is just that um, I really like something in the expo. Um, the the part of it being like bits and bobs and stuff, like made from like scrap parts from other pieces and other weapons, like the the handle and the stock and all that being from an M4 and stuff or an AR-15 variation and stuff it just looks so cool uh, and it kind of adds up to all the context and idea of the earthquake and like scavenging from materials and stuff so it just complements the idea a lot more and it makes it even better um last thing guys uh, I wanna tell you I wanna ask you guys what do you think that DICE will actually pull off in Endgame hmm what are you guys waiting in the end game? What do you think it's gonna happen? Do you think dice are going to make something really, really epic, just like aftermath or even better? Uh, what do you think they're going to do? What do you think they're going to implement in the game? And I really want to know your guys' opinions. So, really hoping, uh, hoping for y your guys' opinions. Also, I want to know your opinions on aftermath. What do you guys think of the DLC so far? Tell me in the comments below all that and tell me in the comments below what would you like to see on Endgame or what do you think that DICE will make on Endgame. So yeah guys, as always, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe up top and like below. Also comment below if you enjoyed it. Just tell me, nice video or something. It just makes me happy, it makes me want to keep doing them. And if you guys want to keep watching them, I will keep making them. 
I love you guys so much. Thanks for all the support. I've been Peter or the Black Hearted Soul. Shooting out.